so if you've seen my video on how you guys simp on social media today's video will be talking about how you guys simp in real life yeah so we're talking about simping now simping is where you are giving all the love and attention to a woman and she's not doing the same in return you are basically treating her as a celebrity and she's treating you as her fan like she doesn't care about you she doesn't see you now like i said before in my previous video there's a difference between being a gentleman and being a simp a gentleman is where you show your woman all the love and attention that she needs because she's your woman okay key point on she's your woman simping is where you show all the love and attention to a woman that is not yours because you're doing all of those things to hope that one day she's going to pick you so you know how they call women pick me girls simping is more like you're telling that you're being a pick me man you're trying to do all of those things because you want to get her attention you want her to see you now you can actually show love and care to someone just because you're a nice person so a girl on the internet someone you don't know but you kind of like you like her vibe and her style so occasionally you tell her you look really amazing it's really nice sometimes you show her extra love just because you like this person it's not because you want this person to actually notice you particularly and choose you amongst every other person who's worshiping them but you're doing it because you're a nice person now when you now do it too much because you are begging for her attention and you're doing it on almost every woman's post or almost every woman you see that is really amazing you do so many things to beg them to see you then you are a complete simp and women don't like simps and you should not be a simp because on this channel i think you i teach you how to be alpha males okay men who are irresistible men who women should be begging to be with that's what i want you to be not simp so let me tell you five ways you guys simp in real life now if you haven't seen the former video on how you guys simp on social media i will be putting the link at the end of this particular video so make sure you go check it out so that you can balance how you simp on social media versus how you simp in reality so hey guys this is real talk with ij and the girl ij guys thank you so much for the growth and for the love and you know all the attention i've been getting from all of you from all over the world i'm really appreciative thank you so much i see you guys i love you guys too much too much i cannot expect express it okay so let's go straight into this video and tell you five ways that you all simp in real life and how you need to stop it the very first way you guys simp in real life not social media is too much compliments so you see this girl maybe you've taken her you're taking her on a date or you know her physically in your office in the gym anywhere but like this is real life you and this girl and you keep dropping compliments back to back to back to back like it is too much okay it makes her feel like you're worshiping her sometimes this woman will not even appreciate the compliment anymore because it's like you're stating the obvious because i know what you're talking about is either her beauty physical beauty her, her style the shape of her body sexualizing her maybe that's the kind of compliment you're dropping back to back to back and sometimes it makes women uncomfortable and we just know you're already in simp mode so you need to stop dropping compliments back to back okay you're taking a girl out on a day she's look, looking really amazing you could just drop in the compliment once and say you look really ravishing tonight or you look look absolutely stunning tonight and she's gonna say oh really thank you so much and you take her out on a date and go straight into the conversation okay there's no need to keep repeating it and repeating it and repeating it and repeating it it just doesn't tell that you are a strong confident man and you need to be a strong confident man so you need to cool down with the compliments okay later in the conversation an hour later 30 minutes later you could drop in and say wow this your dress really compliments you honestly i, I mean i can't say i can't you know you can just say something else later i'm not a man i, I don't really know how to compliment people like that <laughs> but yeah you, you get my point so stop dropping too much compliment it's going to make the woman feel somehow it's going to be weird if you keep dropping compliments in every two every two seconds if she's your woman it's okay shower her with all of the praises in the world but if she's not your woman she's someone who you're trying to get to know calm down okay stop worshiping her she's a human calm down you could even be better than her forget about all of the appearance okay calm down another way you guys um seem in real life is when you are too available for a woman you are too available she wants a handyman you are there you're her go-to guy if she wants a bricklayer you're her go-to guy she wants a carpenter you're her go-to guy she wants a driver you are her go-to guy if she's broke and needs a little money you are her go-to guy you are too available for this woman she's go she's just going to keep using you are now simping 
you don't have a life you're just you're and you're doing all this not because you're a nice person or you're just somehow available you're doing it because you want to prove to her that you will always be there for her two four seven <laughs> that's really sweet but that's i don't know but like bro except she's doing it also for you i'm telling you except she is also two for seven available for you except she's two for seven available for you if not you have no business being two for seven available for a woman that is not your woman she's not your girl she's not your wife she is not your woman you have no business being that mr nice guy for her you're going to end up in the friend zone when she knows that she can use you anytime if you're too available you end up being a simp you end up in the friend zone again except she is also there two for seven for you two for seven for you you have no business being available for her if you're too available that is you simping that is you simping that is you allowing a girl use you as a doormat you have to stop put some respect to your name and get busy with your life and stop being a, a push button for every time that she needs you be wise Another way you guys simp in real life is when you apologize for everything. Yes, I mean, I don't know how you guys do this, but you just apologize for what you don't even know. You might not even be guilty of it just because you want her to be happy. Yeah, okay, I take full responsibility. Why? Because you, she's obviously being so childish and so stupid. And instead of you to call her out and tell her, this is wrong. You are just up because you want peace to reign. I mean, I'm a peacemaker. She, like again, like I said before, she's going to keep using you as a doormat. She's going to know that she can do anything and everything. She knows you're going to apologize because you are a simp. Why are you doing all of this? It's not because you can take it from anybody. You're doing it because you just want her to see you as the best man for her. Because I'm sure if your home is would do the same thing that she's doing with you i'm sure you're going to pull off and pull up and you know fight them but because she's the one you take every insult and every misbehavior from her and you apologize instead of to tell her to you know fix her character you apologize for everything because you just you want her to pick you you want her to see that you're a good person i'm, I'm a nice person so it's okay i'm sorry that i i'm sorry that uh, you 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 behaved foolishly I'm sorry that I made you to behave like a spoiled brat. Because that's exactly what you're apologizing for. You're apologizing for her own bad characters. So if you're doing this, this is how you simp. You're simping, you're simping, and you need to wake up. You need to wake up. And this way, this particular one makes me angry. When you're always buying her gifts or sending her money, like I said, she's not your girl, she's not your woman she's not yours and you're sending her money because you want to get her attention you keep sending her money you know all of these girls that will come on snapchat and post about where fancy place they want to go how they are broke and bored and someone should show them some love urgent 2k like nigerians to say and you just want to be that nice person oh send me your account number you want to say on her bed days you're sending her flowers and everything you're not her man you're not her man why do you think you should be doing all of this this is how a lot of you end up being used by girls because they know you have the money they know you have the money so sometimes they just play cool around you to get what they can get from you so stop simping if you're someone who comes on social media and you just see a fine girl and you just tell her to send your account number you are a simp because you're trying to buy her attention you're trying to buy her attention you're trying to make her see you and pick you because of you have money or you can do all of this you just need to stop this is how girls use you so they begin to use your money to take care of the boyfriend that they love that is broke that's what a lot of them will do so wake up and stop being a doormat stop being a push button stop being used by women so if you think that you just uh, because you're, you're sending her messages she's not re reacting to you so you're telling her to send your her account number or send her paper or whatever for you to send money and wire transfers and all of that you are just a big fat simp and you need to wake up to reality that women will take advantage of you if you don't wake up from that dream and the last but not the least is when you are her comfort when her boyfriend breaks her heart or when her boyfriend hurts her so you are that go-to guy that she comes to cry you're the shoulder to cry on <laughs> you are the shoulder to cry on when her man hurts her 
so whenever she's hot you're the person that she always has to call and come cry and complain about how the boyfriend mistreats her and all of that you are that and she doesn't even offer you sex so then there are some men who are even smart enough to they know they are the side piece so so they enjoy their side piece because they still get all of the sex and what they want from the girl because obviously they know that's only what they're going to get but if you're that side piece that doesn't even get anything you don't get anything if you're the only time you're able to touch her body is when she's coming to cry on you that her boyfriend did shit to her but even in that pampering you can't even get a kiss you are a big fat simp <laughs> you are the you are the you are the boss of the sims if you are this kind of person so if you're someone who you are always that person that she comes to but once everything is rosy again she's back with her boyfriend or her man friend or all of her sex friends people that she have sex with but you this nice guy you are only there when she's hot by other people and you never even get a bit of sugar from her do i need to tell you this is how you simp in reality so if you behave any of any of these ways it's okay sometimes we we just find ourselves in this situation it's not too late you just need to realize that this is not what you should be doing you should give yourself more value and more respect and other people will respect you so if you're in this kind of situation you just need to work on your confidence level and you need to stop waiting for a woman to pick you you need to learn how to become a high value man and how do you become a high value man you need to learn how to dress well you need to learn how to make money i keep saying if you chase money women will chase you now go make money go further that education go pursue that career go chase that dream chase that goal go be a better man don't sit and wait for a woman to come back to you go outside and make that money and instead of waiting for that woman move away and let that woman chase you to get your attention and that's the best way to help yourself to stop being simps and that's the end of the video for today i hope you found it educative as well as entertaining guys let me know what you think in the comment section and let me know if there are other ways that you can tell that someone is being a simp and you know the best solutions for your for other men or other women other people to stop being same now as always my instagram is always open for you to reach out to me go follow me there guys we're trying to build my instagram account and it's also very nice that i get to connect with you guys personally through my instagram dm and make sure you like this video share and subscribe if you're not yet subscribed already i will see you next time keep living life keeping champs and bye for now Mwah.